Hey guys, Brandon here with another episode of BMN Reviews. Today's movie is District 9, a 2009 sci-fi movie starring Charlton Copley, Jason Cope, and David James. The Netflix description for this movie says, After years of segregation and forced labor, a race of stranded aliens enlists in a res resistance movement spearheaded by a rogue government agent. This movie was a low-budget sci-fi thriller, which ended up being a critical hit, racking up four Oscar nominations, including Best Picture. Pretty excited to check out this movie. District 9 is all about when aliens come to Earth, and they set up a place in Johannesburg for them called District 9. They want to move the aliens from District 9 to a new place called District 10, which is outside of Johannesburg, South Africa. So they go in to tell the aliens to get evicted, and the main character, who's played by Charlton Copley, whose name is Weekus Vandermeer, he ends up playing with a alien bottle, and it explodes all over him, and he eventually ends up getting alien DNA, and this movie is all about how he is treated, and all about how the aliens can leave Earth. As far as some trivia for this movie goes, the language used by the aliens in the movie was created by rubbing a pumpkin, which is pretty crazy. Also, this was the first documentary style film to be nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. And the star of the movie, Charlton Copley, had never actually acted or pursued a acting career before landing this role in the film. My favorite quote in this movie is not exactly from a character, but it's an automated MNU instructional video, and it says, when dealing with aliens, try to be polite, but firm, and always remember that a smile is cheaper than a bullet. They really tried to show that the aliens were trying to get rights in this movie, and that they tried to protect them and make sure that they were treated as fairly as possible, and I think this quote really showed that, even though there were some people in the movie who protested the aliens as well as took advantage of them. For my rating of this movie, I'm giving it four and a half out of five stars. I thought the storyline was really unique, and I thought the aliens looked pretty awesome. I haven't really seen aliens that looked like these ones in any other movie, so I thought that made it kind of special. Um, Vicus Vander, Vandermeer does a pretty great job acting, even, and this was one of his first films, and he had a pretty believable role. I thought that this movie obviously warranted the Oscar nominations that it got it, even though it didn't end up winning any of the awards that it was up for. And without further ado, it's time for tomorrow's movie clues. This is a 20 15 horror film starring Anton Yelchin. I hope you're having a fantastic day finding new ways to have fun during quarantine. I know it's taken a heavy impact on a lot of people out there, so I hope you're staying healthy and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Without further ado, here's tomorrow's movie.